now let us see what kind of knowledge is expected from a piping engineer okay there is uh, as we know piping engineer really plays an important role but let us see what is expected from him first of all he requires complete understanding of engineering economics and costs especially material metallurgy methods of fabrication and direction because this is what he is going to do throughout his career he must be having a very good knowledge related to mechanical chemical civil electrical instrumentation engineering we are not saying he must be aware of all these engineering but he must be confident enough to interact with them to get the required information from all the disciplines and to pass the required information for all these uh, disciplines he has to discuss he has to understand the requirements he need to solve the problems of all the engineers who are associated in this field he must be aware of various codes standards and practices this is really very important in the beginning nobody is aware of all these clauses but as a piping engineer starts working in this field he will come across a lot of codes and standards so these are the basic guidelines which he need to understand and implement during the course of his career piping engineer must be uh, having a sufficient knowledge uh, especially related to conditions which may arise during various stages of the plant design so there will be many phases not only uh, from feasibility to commissioning but during design phase also there will be a lot of phases so he must be aware of these phases at least so that he can start looking into the uh, problems which he may come across during the working uh, time so he must be aware of all these situations all these phases he must be having very good knowledge of loads and stresses this is somewhere piping engineer keep on interacting with other discipline especially with civil and mechanical so stress analysis is a part of piping itself but he based on this analysis a lot of loading information has to be passed down so that the foundations pedestal sleepers pipe pack can be designed so he must be having good knowledge of uh, loads and stresses again there will be lot of equipment which are associated in any process plant for example pumps compressors turbines vessels columns so all these vessels will be there in any of the plants so he must be aware of all these equipment as well as the associated pressure forces which will be there with respect to piping system and nozzles and these equipment so not only he has to be aware of these equipment but he has to know something which is associated with these equipment with respect to piping okay lack of knowledge may cause a lot of errors which will be very costly when we talk about erection commissioning uh, stages so piping engineer should be well conversant with the drafting procedures and practices a lot of drawings has to be generated during uh, design phase by piping engineer so he has to be very conversant with all these drafting procedures for example the plot plan this is the most important deliverable which most of the piping engineer has to draft so all these procedures he must be aware of so this is one of the basic expectation from these piping engineers now a lot of computer based softwares are there 3d modeling is one of the main requirement in the market so this is again something which has to be there within uh, piping engineer so these are basic requirements which you can say are the expectations which a piping engineer uh, has to fulfill during his career so if he is aware of most of these things he will be very uh, it will be very easy for him to sustain in this field